We are following a developing story tonight. Parents in Highland Park demanding tougher school safety measures for a second time in two weeks after someone brought a gun to school earlier this month. WGN's Jenna Barnes joins us live from Highland Park with new developments. Jenna. Dina and Mike, we learned tonight this district will hire a director of security who should be in place by next school year. But parents whose children were part of the Highland Park High School lockdown a few weeks ago want metal detectors installed as soon as possible. You say District 113 is committed to prioritizing infrastructure needs in an effort to keep our schools healthy, safe, and secure. Yeah, you're not doing your job. Do your job. Emotions running high at tonight's meeting from those parents who say more security measures should have been installed after July 4th. The district has armed school resource officers at both Highland Park and Deerfield High Schools and added six unarmed security guards for this school year, in addition to a new system that requires students to scan in each day. These parents argue none of that deterred a student from bringing a gun to school three weeks ago. During the discussion at tonight's meeting, some board members did seem open to the idea of adding metal detectors, even when similar districts in this area don't have them. What I heard tonight was promising, but I wish I had heard it three months ago, four months ago, sometime shortly after July 4th. They need to do more. They need the armed guards. They need the metal detectors. The board will meet with its security consultant May 30th to discuss what it would look like to install metal, de metal detectors. They say it would probably have to have a much broader scope than just placing the detectors at the entrances to each school. That May meeting will be open to the public. We're live in Highland Park tonight. Jenna Barnes, WGN News.